Welcome back graduates. Today I want to go over how to install the latest version of 2.6 Ecomify Shopify Premium theme. Now the reason why uh, we, we're wanting to do this is because we've gotten some emails asking, oh I haven't received the latest download or where can I expect the latest download and things like that. So what I want to show you is through the whole process, step by step, how to uh, get the 2.6 of Ecomify theme. So what you want to do, and this is 2.6, uh, so what you want to do is you're going to go onto our page, ecomgraduates.com, and you're going to go into the navigation here where it says Ecomify theme, or you can go into the search and you'll see the item Ecomify theme right here in the populated search, um, search here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Ecomify theme, and what we do is we have it. what we have right now is the title and then also a subtitle just so you don't um, miss it but once making the purchase please go ahead and make the account with us and then register your my shopify url and that is how you're going to be able to uh, get and obtain your uh, new version of the theme you're not going to be able to um, have it through a email uh, it's just going to be right directly through your account uh, so i'm going to go through the steps um, and then also uh, if you do have any questions or anything like that, you can go and view the demo, see our latest uh, features, and see what's uh, up and coming as well, as, um, in addition to looking at our change log and our documentation. Um, so my store is going to be, for demo purposes, Ecomify theme. So I'm just going to go into my, my Shopify URL, and I'm going to go and enter this in, and my niche is going to be beauty products. And I'm going to do developer agency license just so you guys kind of see what it looks like as well. That is my dog. Sorry about that. And, uh, and I'm going to go and add to cart. Once I've added to cart, I'm going to go uh, into checkout. Super excited about my theme. Checkout. And I'm going to go in and enter a code just so uh, I don't have to pay that at the moment. Uh, right here is the crucial step, your email. Your email, this email, this initial email where you make the purchase is going to be the exact email that you create and, uh, and make an account with us uh, for. So um, let's do the So I'm just going to put that in. I'm going to follow the steps. Now I'm going to put in my phone number and I'm going to continue the payment and then I'm going to complete my order. So that email is going to be the email that I go and create my account. So I'm going to go and click on the logo right over here and click on the uh, this person icon and if I haven't already I'm going to create an account. So my first name, my last name, the exact email uh, that I just uh, used to make that purchase and then a password. Uh, but I already have one so I'm just going to go in And I'm going to log in and then I'm going to see uh, roughly just all the past uh, orders and also current orders as well. You can view address, uh, you can log out and you can click into them and see what the item was, a discount applied, the total and download the invoice. So what I'm going to do, because this only strictly is for Ecomify theme and Ecomify theme uh, users, you're going to have an option where it says manage licenses. The reason why I have 297 right now is because I've, you know, made dev agency purchases and I have ultimately actually 297 um, stores I can use this on. But I probably don't need that many. Uh, so the next step you're going to do is you're going to go into register your store. Uh, so if you have a dev agency or even a three uh, account limit, you're going to go in, um, put in your My Shopify URL right over here. And you're going to click on register. So now this is all nice and registered. Uh, I can copy this or I can delete it. So I want to take, I want you guys to take note of something also. When you do have a single uh, license and a single license store, you're going to have one store right here. Now, later on, years down the road or even months, if you decide not uh, that you don't like that store, you can always transfer over your license to another store. So what you're going to want to do, but you only have one license and it's going to be the same exact license. But what it checks is the license key and the store URL 
for it. It has to be the My Shopify URL because you've chosen this because that My Shopify URL stays the same no matter what domain you change. If you change it to abc.com in the future, change it to xyz.com, it's, it's, it doesn't matter because it's going to check for the My Shopify URL. Um, so let's say I have one, one my, one my Shopify, Shopify license. I'm going to go and delete it, and then I'm going to re-register so I have availability. You'll notice that the numbers change. Um, I'm just going to re-register this. Um, pretend this was a different my Shopify. Register it, and you should be all set. So we do give the option to copy it if you do need it. Um, then what you're going to want to do is download the theme. So now when I download the theme, and if you do have multiple licenses, um, it will show down here, but I only have one right now. And then I'm gonna go and click download the theme. So now I have download the theme, and I'm gonna go into my Shopify store, which is here. I have Dawn theme, you know, Dawn, great theme, great base theme. So now I'm going to take that download that I just had, I'm gonna add that download and I'm gonna upload Ecomify 2.6. I'm gonna wait for this. And you can, you know, just wait and do all the things as well. Sometimes it takes a little bit. But uh, I wanna also uh, mention to you guys, we do have the Chrome extension as well. Uh, we do have the, the time um, when it was, you know, released, details on that, how to's, and also our documentation for it right over here. It, it is updated on the theme um, Chrome extension migrator. So 2.6 has just been added. I definitely do want to publish. You do not have to publish. I'm just doing this for demo purposes. I always love, here's why I always love to publish something, uh, a theme first, is because then I'll have the templates to be able to assign and everything's there and live and I can just work on that. Um, if I have a store password, I can still work on that. Um, it's just so much easier instead of going back and forth in the theme editor and switching between the themes or um, between the pages and the products and things like that. Uh, so I want to see everything live. This is just my opinion on how I work. Uh, so Comify theme live, and I'm going to go and customize. And I'm on a widescreen monitor, so some of you might see all your you know, settings on just the left side. Um, but mine are, are, are on the left and right. So what you'll see is going to theme settings and you'll see license and it's already right there for you. If you go in a different order and you download the theme before you have the license, you can still have the option to copy and paste from this here. By the way, if you don't have a license, it'll look like that, by the way. The, um, the yellow bar, that happened, that, that just happened, yellow bar, that means that um, it was not registered. So right over here, we have the new, new license. And if it did, you know, happen to be not the same license, just go in and paste that new one that it generated, um, just like that. And it, it works now. And that is basically how to install the, uh, the license, how to check for it, and also, um, how to install the 2.6 and moving forward as well for the newer versions of Ecomify theme. If you have any questions, please send us an uh, email at ecomify at ecomgraduates.com. Please comment, like, if you do have uh, any questions or issues with this. Um, see you in the next video.